Hey everyone, this is Randall, and welcome to Battle Report number 23 in our Song of Ice and Fire Battle Report series. We have a special one for you today, as I am playing a game against Jeroen from the Rotterdam White Scars channel. How did this matchup happen, you may ask? Well, earlier this year, I traveled to Hamburg, Germany, upon the invitation of the guys from the Hits and Crits channel, who were hosting their first ever tournament, the War of the North. This tournament drew together almost 60 players from multiple cities and states of Germany, along with myself from the U.S. and Jeroen and some of the other guys from the Rotterdam community. After the game is over, please stay tuned for a post-game discussion between Jeroen and I, along with a quick account of my trip to Germany and the tournament itself. Jeroen and I sat down for a chat after the tournament ended on Sunday, as folks were packing up and getting ready to get on the road home. As a quick intro to this game, however, I attended the tournament primarily to meet and mingle with the German community and maybe record the odd game or two at a side table that I set up away from the tournament. I wasn't certain whether I'd actually get any games played or recorded since I wasn't officially in the tournament at the time, but I was mostly there to meet folks from the community and soak up the mutual love of this game with a room full of like-minded people. When round one of the tournament kicked off, I started doing my rounds walking table to table as players were setting up their first game. When I noticed Jeroen was standing at his table with his army ready to go, but with no opponent. I learned that his first opponent was a no-show. So after some quick discussion with Jeroen and the Hits and Crits guys, we decided that I would join the tournament with the list I had already prepared for my demo games. I quickly grabbed all the game components I needed and hastily set up my camera to capture the game. And the rest is now history. Now let's quickly run through the list and discuss the deployment and initial plan. Jeroen brought along to no one's great surprise, Baratheons to the tournament. For our game, he played Stannis the Rightful Heir. Jeroen is a master of Baratheon gameplay, and his list here seems tailor-made for objective holding and endurance. Stannis is in Halberdiers, who are just as tanky as Wardens, but who are faster and hit harder. Combined with tactical approach, these guys might be able to do some pretty decent damage. Justin Massey is in a unit of Wardens, probably to fish for tactical approach and to camp on an objective. If he can sling out a couple of weakened tokens with his threatened ability, that's just gravy on top. Lightbringers are here both to do some solid ranged and panic damage, and to heal up Jeroen's other units with supply aid. The champions are here to do whatever they need to do, be it screening the enemy's advance, assisting the frontline fight, or holding objectives as needed. For his NCU options, Jeroen is doubling down on zone control with both Peter Baelish and Alistair Florent. This will pretty much guarantee he always controls the zones he needs. For my list in the tournament, I brought two variants of a Bolton Golden Company Elephant list. I played this list during day one of the tournament and the other list during day two. I put Roos Bolton Commander in Bolton Bastard Girls to help amplify their panic damage. I put a Golden Company Officer in the Blackguard to make them a more resilient frontline unit. On the table, uh, Neutral Brienne is proxying as a Golden Company Officer due to the similar pose. Sour Allen Archers are here per the usual and the combat units are rounded out by the Golden Company Elephant. On the NCU side, I have Ramsey for some burst healing from Fueled by Slaughter, Jane Poole to help the morale of my army and to steal first player in a time of desperation or opportunity, and then Shay to sling weakened tokens out to help keep my army alive. Now, let's take a quick look at the deployment, my initial plan, and my assumptions of Jeroen's plan before we get underway. So here for the deployment, we see both sides are uh, kind of staggered on separate sides, kind of your typical clockwise swirl formation that will probably uh, occur here with my units kind of wheeling to the to the right and uh, Jeroen's guys kind of wheeling towards my, um, toward the right flank of my army. And you see I, I have my black guard and archers in the center uh, across from Stannis, uh, who will Presumably, we'll both be kind of marching for that center objective with our our damage dealing units kind of swinging around each other's flanks. I've got my elephant and Bolton Baster girls on my left flank uh, to kind of push up that side. Hopefully, capture a couple of objectives on their way into the uh, halberdiers flank. And I'm I'm kind of hoping that my front line can endure the uh, the the firing of the the lightbringers and the predicted kind of flanking charge, uh, eventual flanking charge of those of those champs. So for the most probable course of action for Jeroen, I'm expecting him to send his halberdiers up the center uh, to try to 
secure that before I get there. His halberdiers are faster than my black guards, so um, a lot will depend on who can grab the maneuver zone first and scoot scoot up a little closer. I expect his lightbringers will uh, probably sit on that corpse pile to um, make them a little bit harder to to get a good charge off on, and uh, I'm, I'm expecting those lightbringers to kind of plink away at my black guard uh, as for as long as they possibly can. The Justin Massey Wardens, I'm assuming, are going to kind of waddle up uh, between those those right side objectives and pretty much hang on onto those for most of the game. And then the Champions of the Stag, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to kind of wheel around there into the flank of the uh, um, black guard, you know, probably after round two or so, because it's going to take them a little while to get over there. I'm, I'm going to need to move my, my heavy hitting units into the action as, as quickly as I can. I know it's going to be complicated a little bit by that bog, um, but you know, my initial plan is to get those Bolton Bastard girls maybe onto one of those points uh, to, to get a point for round two and then throw everything I have into uh, the Stannis Halberdiers and, and then the Lightbringers. But a lot really is going to depend here for me on killing something as quickly as I can because I know Jeroen has definitely has the outlast uh, advantage here. His units are a lot tankier than mine and he has more healing and uh, a lot more token gen. Well, probably arguably similar token gen because Roos has a lot of uh, token generation ability. But uh, his his strategy here I think is, is definitely more of an outlast strategy. My, my strategy is much more focused on trying to kill stuff as quickly as I can to kind of even out the um, the endurance advantage that that Jeroen has, so uh, a lot's going to depend on how quickly I can bring that elephant and the Bolton Bastard girls to bear. Uh, for most most dangerous course of action, this is kind of a it's kind of hard to to think up a most dangerous because I think uh, his most probable is probably also the most dangerous, and I, I think the strategy is going to be similar no matter what, um, which is going to be to kind of get close to that center objective, plink away with the Lightbringers. Um, Camp objectives with Justin Massey, and then uh, eventually swing around with those with those champions of the stag. I think for most dangerous here, everything is pretty much identical to most probable, except I've I've just got um, the halberdiers kind of uh, playing it a little safe, and the lightbringers also not not moving up quite as much. So here I have the the halberdiers kind of baiting a charge from the, the Bolton Bastard girls and the elephant, you know, not exposing their flank, not rushing up to that first point. Um, so this would kind of have uh, Jeroen taking those, taking his two uh, side objectives there and then um, just kind of playing it safe with, with Stannis while um, he leaves it up to me to determine whether I jump in or not with my, uh, my offensive units. And... It's really a toss-up between uh, you know which one of these is, is truly the most dangerous. I think you, you could argue that the most probable is probably the most dangerous because it's it gets uh, Jeroen in on on points faster. Um, but I wanted to offer another possible course of action, so here it is. A couple of quick notes before we begin. When I set up the camera, I didn't notice that I cut off the tactics board from the frame. To remedy this, I've added a pop-in tactics board at the bottom of the screen that will come and go to inform viewers which zones are claimed by which NCUs. Finally, before we begin, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Josh from Armored Bear Tokens. Without Josh's support, this trip to Germany and this video would not have been possible. In case you aren't aware, Josh produces the awesome poker chip tokens for A Song of Ice and Fire, which he sells in his Etsy shop. You'll see them used in this game, and you've probably seen them used elsewhere in tournaments and other battle reports. I've linked his shop below in the description in case you want to check them out. Please just be aware, though, that this isn't Josh's full-time job, and he only opens up the Etsy shop for orders when work and life schedules permit. So if you're interested in getting some of these tokens, sign up for notifications from his shop on Etsy so you'll know whenever he's open for business. Now, with all that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. There we go. And then I can decide who goes first. Yep. Um... I think I would like to go first, Randall. Okay. Yeah. Good, Good luck. luck, have fun, sir. Yeah, me too. Oh, when we roll dice, do you mind trying to roll like over here? Yeah. Uh, just so the camera can pick it up. All good. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and always roll. What is it called? Like, hey, listen, trees, fours, etc. Yeah. Well. But okay. 
All right. Um, got no start of any round, so okay. no start of any turn for me as well either. Nope. Okay. Um, so we'll point this one towards here. Uh, I would like to activate Varus. Okay. And I will go towards the letters. All right. Uh, do you want to use these as well to yeah, sure, showcasing yeah. for? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. I would like to weaken your archers, please. All right. And put two cards in hand and give it back to you. Okay. I will. Uh, I will take Ramsey. Yep. And I'll put him on the horse. All good. And the uh, black guard are gonna waddle up very slowly. Just go four inches. I like, like that so. movement. Yep. <laughs> awesome. And uh, he'll influence. He'll just influence them, I guess. Okay. Um, when you're completely done, I would like to spend a Varus token. Okay. And I would like to shift three inches with my champion stack. Okay. They get almost as much movement from a Varus token as my black card get from taking the maneuver zone. Well, <laughs> it's their normal movement as yeah. well with four, yeah. so I... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be okay. I would like to activate Peter. Okay. Would like to play him on the crowns. Yep. And I am going to exchange that uh, for the will of the tokens, one... Tokens, tokens for everyone. Will of the one true king, indeed. Um, so, I would like to... I think I'm going to make these fellas panic. Okay. Um, I would like to... By the way, we cannot influence him though. He cannot be targeted oh, by, yeah. by the company guy. Yeah. Because uh, it's not BN. So. Yeah, well, well, actually you can be targeted... Oh yeah, that's by a tactics card. Yeah, so. Yeah, because it's it's a tactics card. Yeah. So it's, it's not happening. Yeah. We already catch that with BN. Uh, but no problem. Then we will do this one there. Okay. We would like to put... This one on the archers, and then we can do Rus since we okay. can't do yep. Brienne. It's just maybe good heads heads off you guys there. Mm -hmm. This is not Brienne. This is a Golden Company officer. Yeah. So, all right, uh, back to you, sir. Okay. I will. Let's see, I will uh, pass with Jane Pool. Jane Pool. Yeah. Uh, all righty, my. I am going to activate just a Messi, and he will march up an eight. He's going to put him down on ten, so he can march up to the two. So like here, turning a little bit like this. All good. All Back right. to you, uh, Venom. Okay. I will activate Shay. Yep. And I'm going to put her on the... Uh, I'll put her on the sword. Yep. And she spends a token to... Uh, what is that? When she claims zone, she spends a token, but then I'm going to do a zone replace. Yep. To... Uh, she does an extra, right? Oh, wait. So each time she claims zone before resolving the zone's effect, choose one. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, so she doesn't zone replace. She just yeah. uh, she'll give herself another token. So she yeah. spends one and, yeah, gains, and gets two. yeah gets okay. So yeah. she just adds one basically. Yeah. Um, so instead of that, I'll, I'll go to the the bag. I thought I had a zone replace, so I'll no, go no, to the no. bag. No, um, she's uh, yeah. Yeah. So she'll have four tokens now, yeah. and then I will remove the weekend off of the archers. Fine by me, sir. Don't have a start of, of uh, friendly turn. You nope, have nothing. No? Okay. I would like to activate my champion stack. Mm -hmm. So we're going a four, like so. Go a little bit like this. Okay. And then we're deciding to march up and go up to the two on here. And turn a minute, a little bit like this. Okay. Good. And then I've got. Uh, 
No, all good. I don't have a start of any turn. Uh, I don't have any start of any turn. Okay. Okay, so they would go up to... All right, I will activate the black guard. Yep. And they are going to maneuver. Yes, sir. Also, if you want to check, uh, Wendell, one for your side. Oh, okay. One of those, uh, okay, thank you. If you would like to. No problem, sir. Because yeah, marching, I don't think I could get, couldn't get up there. Um, so you would have moved 12, so you should be on 22. You yeah. Four and eight, so. Yeah, I'd go up to there. Yeah. Um, Two inches before the marker. Yeah. yeah. The, the hard life moving four inch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough. So let's see, he goes up, he would go up to there. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I, uh, I'm not going to go all the way up there. I'm just going to right. maneuver, and then they're just going to go yep. that way. Yeah, I just go like that. Fine with me. Uh, then I think I will go with Stennis. He will march, though. Mm -hmm. so he will go up to the 10, like this. He will look at them. All right. And then it's, I've got now a start of any turn. Okay, go so, for it. Um, we will spend on Justin. We will play Battle Plan. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw away Baratheon Conviction. And we're going to throw away Harsh Conditions. Okay. And we're going to draw a card with choice. He threw away Stag's Wit. You wanted Stag's Wit to go or Conviction conviction to go? Uh, condition goes and Stag's Wit goes because I need to throw okay. away two. Conditions, okay. Yeah, so okay. I need to throw okay. away two. I, thought, I thought you said Baratheon Conviction. Oh, so no, Stag's yeah. Wit. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'll put this one in hand. And it's my turn? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So. So I shuffled the deck. Okay. Off to you, sir. All right, I'll activate the uh, yeah. archers. Yes, sir. They're going to pivot and maneuver. Mm -hmm. I think instead they're gonna march. Yeah, sure. So they were they were like right yeah, there. Yeah, so they will be behind yeah, them. They'll yeah. just be like yeah. nut to butt with these yeah. guys. Of course. Uh, just yeah. Look, All just good. Like so with boisterous charisma, you block tactics what? cards and abilities or influence. With, uh, with Brienne? No, the yeah the golden the, company. The, the oh yeah, golden company officer. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. Uh, enemy influences, which I don't think you have any. No. Uh, it's tactics cards and orders. Orders as well, yeah. yeah. So it's not, yeah, not tactic zones, but yeah, tactics yeah. cards and orders. Yeah. No, good. Uh, cool. We will activate Davos then, uh, because well, we cannot target the unit with mark target or mm -hmm. anything like it. So. So off we go. Um, let's see. If we would go, we would go up to the ten. We will end here next to Stennis, like so. We would be in range to at least shoot. All right, we're gonna stand up there. Off we go. And I'll activate Roos. Yeah. 
He's going to sprint up here with yep. the dogs. Pivot. Going to score some lovely points. Yep. And he'll stay there. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yep, so that was me. Yeah. I will use Alistair. Okay. And we're going to stand on the swords. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make a shooting attack on the unit. Um, yep, Blackguard. In front of me, the Blackguard, yeah. So we've got seven shots, hitting okay. on threes. Oh, yeah, we roll, we roll here. All right, All so right. just two. Two, okay. So two on threes. Yep. Uh, I take one. one. All right, and then it's a panic with vicious, but okay. you need a three, so yep. it's a so minus one. Minus one, so I go from a uh, six to a seven. Yep. And I fail, fail for one. Take one. Yep. yep. And then I would like to give them, because of flaming arrows, also a uh, okay. check with minus one. Okay, so they go from a seven to a, yep, so uh, to an eight, right? seven to an eight. Yep. And they uh, take so one, one as well. Also. Unless you want to re-roll with the panic. Ah, uh, you know, let's go all the way. Go let's, for it. Let, let's try it, Randall, yeah. Okay. Use the panic token to re-roll the D3. So two. Uh, two. Yep. Haha. All right. And then I'm all out activated. It's over to you. Okay. Uh, just got. I've just got the elephant left. I think. Yeah. So elephant. So he has to be within long range of a golden company officer, uh, or he takes a morale test. Yep. He's he's good though. So he is. It's kind of nice now also that you can do it with attachments, right? Yeah. Instead of like that, you have to yeah. do a full unit these days. Yeah. He's just going to maneuver, so yep. he'll pivot, and he'll just go six. Yeah, he'll just go there. All right. Uh, if you have a Coke, yes, please. Yeah, would love to. Um, I'll take a Coke. You got him. End of turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the cleanup phase. Um, that one you, by the way, spent, uh, Randall? The oh, panic. yes, thank you. So, yep. you don't, uh I will keep my three cards in hand. Okay. I. Okay, thank you, Chris. And we will turn this one to you. Good, sir. All right, thank you. Um, all right. And then I've got a, a start of round. Okay, go for it. I will play Tactical Approach on Stennis. Okay. So this is the auto wound card yep. if I spend condition tokens. Yep. Um, that's it, so start of turn. All right, I will take Shay. Yeah. And I will put her on the Tactics Zone. Yeah, so which one from Shay you want to do first? I'm going to uh, use a Weakened. I'm going to Weaken a unit. Yep. So I will Weaken the Lightbringers. Yeah, all good. And then I will also weaken with, uh, uh, with the, the with letters, the letter yep. zone effect, I'll weaken the champions. The champions, all good. And then I'll draw two cards and back to you. Fine by me, sir. Um, after you resolve that, I would like to spend one Varus token to give me at least one card. Mm -hmm. All right, all good. So is it from now? Just curious. Is it from? Oh, so just orders, not abilities. Okay, take orders. Take the cards and influences. Good. One. All right. Um. Okay, do. Um, in that case, I would like to use. At the start of the turn, I would like to play Adaptive Planning on Stannis and okay. exchange this one for 
this one. Mm -hmm. You have any uh, surf turns? Uh, nope. No. Then I would like to play Baelish. And I would like to stand. I would like to stand on bags. I'm gonna use one of his tokens and I'm gonna replace it for the swords effect. Okay. And we will start shooting again at the Golden Company officer. Okay. Okay, so Much one, better. two misses, so five hits. All right, five on threes. Yep. And I take three. Okay. And then it'll be a net minus one. Yep. So I go to a seven. Yep. Fail again for one, one more. Okay. And then you want to arc it over to them or over uh, to the other one? Let's do the archers. Okay. So then uh, they will go again to an eight. An eight. Yeah. And they take two, two. one. Uh, yeah, one. Yeah. So then now I've lost up until six, right? Um, so it's, what, two were there, then oh, three? Okay, yeah, because I took one off of, yeah. Yeah. Right there, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Back to you, Sam. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do here. I'll activate Jane Poole. Yep. And I'll put her on the sword. Mm -hmm. And I will influence the Blackguard. So yep. they have plus two morale right now. Yep. And uh, can't shoot anything, so that's it. Okie doke. <laughs> then it's my turn. I would like to. Can't do anything. Star of Turn would like to, them to activate Varus. Okay. But I will forego with him. So he will go okay. uh, where on here. I'll activate Ramsey. I will put him on the maneuver zone. Yep. I'll influence the dogs. Yep. And then. They will maneuver, so uh, I'm going to skirt right by the bog, and yep. I am relinquishing control of this objective, knowingly, but uh, I'm going to try to kill some things or be killed, so that is, that is where we are. All right. So if you would shoot or scuffle, it is probably now a scythe. Yes, I think I should be in the flank. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I, I would be able to shift. Well, I could shift a little bit over to the bog if I wanted to uh, yeah. to get even more in the flank. But yeah, I think he's yeah. He's just in there, I think. Yeah. Fully on Sam. Just want to check, um, Randall. Yep. So let's say if I shift up two. Oh, to uh, see yeah, you. To see, see with you. Varus if I can. Yeah, I think you'll be. Um, yeah, I'm in your. You're in the front now. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the front. Yeah. And even if you go one inch to the side, I think still you would be in the front then. With yeah. Two inch. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I think then, uh, good sir, you forced me to use my last Varus okay. token and do the. Right. Uh, it's. Uh, that was. Uh, yeah. All right. Good. Um, start a friendly turn. I would like to uh, mark target Roos because him I can target though. Okay. And uh, mark target, mark targeting him. Yeah. Right? Okay. Roos so you want to give yeah. me a yeah. uh, one? Yeah. you go, Thank sir. You. And then All also, right. if you charge in the front, it's also on the bog though so that's also yep. not a, not a bad option um, yeah I think I will for now just activate Justin 
and we will just scuffle over the objective like this. And see what happens. Okay. All right, I'm going to activate Roos. Yep. Um, they haven't activated yet, right? No, they have no. not activated yet, sir. Hmm, okay. Only just in for now. Okay. I'm going to see where I can go with him if I maneuver. Of course. So. To the six. So he goes up to here. If no matter what, I'm going to be in your yeah. line of sight. That was also at least the attention with the two inch uh, yeah. shuffle. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to activate him. Yeah. He's going to move up. Okay. And he is activated. Mm. All right. Would like to activate Alistair then. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put Alistair on the crown. And um, let's target uh, the weeks one big archers once more. Archers, okay. Yeah. So they go to uh, just uh, net neutral here uh, yeah. and minus one, plus one. So yeah. they are uh, seven. Yeah. Hey, they I love it. one. All right. <laughs> one out of, one out of uh, five or six panic tests. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, back to you, sir. Okay. All right, I'm going to activate Roos. Uh, oh, the oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, like double activations? Yeah. What, do you, what <laughs> is this see, for a new combination? Right I, now? I always put my commander in the black guard, so I saw <laughs> them, and I'm like, oh, Roos has to be in the black guard, because he's, you know, intimidating presence, horrific visage. Fair enough. Um, so, all right, he is, or, yeah, Golden Company officer in yep. Black Guard. They're going to maneuver. Yep. And now they can't get on the objective, but they can yep. at least move this way a little bit. Yep. Um, I'm going to just try to block it. Yep. Makes sense, makes sense. And that is them. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So let's say if they would not been there, and if I could scuffle with them, so we don't see Roos anyway, and this will be still front, so that doesn't really matter. Oh, good. Go back. Uh, okay. So, since you would like, you are actually pushing me a little bit to get more board control, mm -hmm. which is tough for me because, well, I need to arrange with that kind of stuff. But getting in there with horrific visage, so much damage, probably be a front as well. Um, I can jump in here in the side, getting horrific visage as well. Yeah. It's it's going to be painful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, but you know, let's see what we can try and do. So I would like to activate Davos. Yep. And uh, it will always be a front of the Black Guard, so I'm going to just... Shoot him. Yeah, I'm going to scoop a little bit, so just a one inch, mm -hmm. and then shoot at the Black Guard with seven dice once more. So we missed two, right. so we hit five times again. Five again. 
All right, on threes. Yep. So one. Uh, one. And I think this time the morale will probably bring that, that, yeah. that bad boy back. I hope so. Let's see. <laughs> uh, so that is front, vicious, minus one. So these cancel each other out. Yeah. So just plus one. And so, then a minus one. Oh, minus one. Okay. Yeah, so so uh, just, just a regular six. Yeah, so six. It's a fail Not for so two. Not so lucky. So uh, yeah, it's a, that's a four. That's a four, yeah. right? Okay. Four so two. Two more. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you then do the uh, girls once more for me again? Okay. And they are on a minus, uh, minus one. one. Yeah. Yep. So an eight. That's so also take, three. Uh, so two. 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 Okay. Yeah, no swords have been drawn, but uh, almost an entire tray has been uh, wiped yeah, out Yeah, I've here. been really fortunate with yeah. just getting one wound in and then just every time yeah. two wounds chipping. Yeah. So, all right, uh, back all to right, you, sir. Back to me. I'll activate the elephant. Yep. He's going to march. Of course, yeah. So he will be probably right behind. To, uh, yeah, like right to there, yeah. and just kind of yeah. position himself like so. Scuffle yep. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the problem here is, do I want to go in, yeah. see if I see if I can take them off, but then be fully in the open, mm -hmm. or do I want to go to the side and see if I can chip? A bit on Roos, mm -hmm. with no potential damage there. For sure, three damage in there as well. Yeah. Because he's he's going to be later on much more damageable, mm -hmm. especially when you're well. You have Jane with you, so you're probably going to steal Take. the next turn for mm -hmm. me as well. So, um, and if I'm going to stand fifty to there. He can probably still fit there, though. Mm -hmm. But if I will go probably on 100, he, he won't. So... so I go like this. There's at the moment no way that he can come towards tennis. So this is also a safe spot for him as well. It's really juicy. It's really juicy. But I think this is the more tactical way. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to activate him. Just move him a little bit. There we go. Sorry. Uh, so I can see him. So we'll turn around. So there will be no re rolls, though. Uh, we'll stand a little bit on there, like this. So, let's say he's a little bit out of six. Maybe. I mean, you, you just moved yeah. him a little bit. So, uh, let me, let me yeah, see Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I guess. Or there's or uh, a six or a little bit further. I think it's... Yeah, a, it's just a hair. Yeah, just a yeah. little bit further. So, I guess, what, two? So yeah, two up then. All right. Uh, let's try it. Got Four. It. So, we're in. We're going to stand then on 100% just to be mm -hmm. safe at least for... Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. So when we're making an attack, I will play Hours is the Fury here. Okay. Uh, I will give myself plus one to hit, and I've got another zone, so I will take Vicious as well. Okay. And we're gonna hit seven times mm -hmm. on threes with no rerolls because of the court spell. Okay. And then uh, are you gonna use the token for. It's uh, after the attack dice have been rolled. Okay. For attack score approach at least. So okay. it's. Uh, is from after attack dice are rolled, I can expand one condition token. Okay. So, let's see. On threes. So we're missing two. Yep. Uh, we will use the... Um, let's use the weaken token for three auto wounds. Okay. And then five saves minus one as well. Yep. Oh, and you, because you ran over the bog, or the uh, corpse pile, right? Yeah, so there's okay. no rerolls. Okay. But they are sundering, so... Yep. Okay, so uh, five... Five on uh, sixes, yep. right? 
So another okay, five. So five more. So one, eight. two, three, four, five. Okay. And then a um, vicious. Uh, you're near the tree, so I think it's a minus one overall. Yeah, and I think I am out. Oh, I might be. Ooh. It's close. Um, Yeah, I'm just I'm just inside that. So okay. those cancel each other out. All right. So, so, so minus two. Minus two. So I go to a seven. Okay. That's right. a pass. Just pass. Yeah. And there's no panic. Otherwise, it would have been another three. Yeah. But still, eight is good. Mm -hmm. So uh, I will take the eight. And then Stennis has been activated. Uh, let's see, if one more, I've got one more, uh, okie doke, then, uh, yeah, I've got to start of, uh, of any, any turn. turn. Okay, yeah. go for it. We're going to play again Battle Plan, mm -hmm. we're going to remove Baratheon Conviction, and we're going to remove Oath of Duty. Yep. Should we grab a card? If you want to, sir, but... I, I haven't learned. Uh, <laughs> I haven't learned scuffle. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this one is an end. Back to you, sir. Then. Okay. Yeah. So I've got, got the archers. The archers. Yeah. They are going to shoot some of their own men. Yeah. And. Sure. Shift up two inches. Yep. Yeah. Fine by me. All right. So we're going to fire fire into Stannis. Stannis, I think. Yeah. Let's see if you're in. Let's say that's in the side, right? Yeah, Safety for sure. Inside. Yeah. Um, so I have Sour Allen. Yeah. So um, first off, before I forget, they lose a wound from being yeah, the shot end of the into. attack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, the, what, what would you like to take? Them? So it's it's S it's crit blow, sundering, sundering or and a panic token. A panic token. Um, hmm. Let me see. I'll do sundering yep. and a panic token into into those guys. Uh, both of them? Oh wait, no, I only pick one. You right? only pick one. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, no worries. I'll do the panic token. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go with panic token. Boop. And on two ranks, they have. They still have seven. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So seven. They they still love it. Yep. So seven, and they get rerolls and precision, precision. because I'm shooting into uh, yeah. a an engaged unit. So two, four, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. So seven on threes. Miss, 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 uh, and re-roll these. So okay, so six, six at uh, minus one. Minus one. So on fours. Aren't you? Uh, you're a four, so it'd be a five, right? Uh, I'm a three plus with halberdiers. But you're a three plus at the. Oh, okay. Halberdiers are three yeah, okay. plus. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, on fours then. Yep. So we fail four. Four. Okay. So that's a rank. And uh, let me do my panic test before I forget. Of course, sir. So they're a five. I think we said, yeah, these cancel. Yeah, so each these cancel each other out. Okay. Each other out. So yeah. Five. All good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my panic will be they cancel each other out yep. in the side. Uh, so I will side. go to an. Um, I will go to a seven. Oh, and uh, intimidating presence. So an eight. All good. Maybe I should have scuffled that way, but then the, I think the elephant would have got. Could yeah, the elephant could have fit. Yeah, could have fit if yeah. he went that way. All right, so let's see. On an eight, then. We feel for two, but we need three. Um, I am gonna leave the leave the panic token. So, so three. Three. Yeah. And then I'm gonna play fear keeps a man alive. Yep. Yeah. So I'll heal three. Three. And let's see, I'll uh, oh, I'll heal three onto these guys. Yep. Yeah. Fine with me. And then I will use Roos's Spread Fear or Spread Fear, yeah. And it's in long range of your unit, right? So yeah. uh, I'll, I'll send it over to them. Yeah, so the seven. Then. It's uh, minus one for each remaining rank in this unit. Two, so minus two, two, two and the course three. was three. So go, they go to nine. They pass on a two. All right, nice. Okay, uh, this one's then spent. Yep. Okie doke. And that has been their activation. They don't lose two because they killed a rank, mm -hmm. which is also great. 
Awesome. Uh, I've got the last activation. Start friendly turn, we're gonna use supply aid. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna kill three. And we're gonna heal back four with Stannis. Because supply aid is still yeah, in long range, not within line of sight. So we will heal the three here. Um, and then the last activation, we will use the champs and we will probably maneuver and march on there on so there. to get yep. the objective okay. at least. So we will get fully like this. <laughs> and we will accept it like this, uh, Randall. Looks good. I think I am activated out. Yeah. So uh, Completely activated as well. Two. Okay. So I score two. All right. Two and... On to round will, three. Yeah. So let's first do the cleanup. Alistair Peter. Uh, I'm going to ditch uh, two copies of our blades are sharp. Yeah. Draw one. All right, um, I can heal in long range from this one, Randall. Okay. So I will heal one here back at the archers. All right. And the champions may perform and shift within three. Okay. So I'm gonna use them themselves, and they're gonna scuffle three to here, at least, like this. Okay. Uh, I will draw two cards because I will keep this card in hand. Okay. Uh, all right. Perfect. Uh, well, then this is the start of the round. I would be coming the first player. I will Jane pool you yeah. this round. So yeah. she becomes your yeah. chattel property for this, yeah, for uh, this round. This round. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't have a start of round, so that's you can easily okay. go with that. However, I've got a start of turn, though. Mm -hmm. So, first off, I would like to spend Peter. Okay. And for this round, I would like to have the crowns. So this All is right. the one that I want to do there. And I also want to Let's double check here because uh, do, 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 do. Uh, so this is Vicious, the Hunter's Bow. Uh, yeah, so Vicious. Um, intimidating Presence. Intimidating Presence, Spread Fear. And yeah, Tracker's Bow. Yeah, and the Elephant, that is his initiate, right? Everything is yes. initiated with him. After what? Initiate, so all his abilities and everything are behind the Charge. heart. Yeah, or yeah, but it's behind the heart, so you cannot oh, turn it off um, or anything. If I'm yeah, correct. I can't remember, and I don't. My phone's up there, yeah, so I'm, then, I'm uh, not that's, sure. Uh, I yeah, will check, check, but, but I'm almost sure it's, it's I on think there. his attack. I think his attack is a normal ability, though. So I think you can turn off his attack, his uh, stomp. I'm pretty see? sure it's a normal ability. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so stomp is. On the heart, so it's protected. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, okay. that's good. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, In that case... <laughs> yeah, start of the round, I then I would like to use adaptive planning from Stannis. Okay. And change this one to... Is that a start of turn or a start yeah, of... Start of, uh, start of any turn. Okay. Yeah, so it's the same trigger as Baelish. Yep. That's why okay. I need to do them right away because mm -hmm. that's an ability. This yep. is, of course, an order. Okay. And it's uh, then to you, sir. All right. So uh, I will... I will take Shay. Yep. And she is going to jump on the sword. Yep. And I will use one of her tokens yep. to all weaken yep. the archers. Yes, sir. 
And then I'm going to have my archers shoot your halberdiers again. Sure. So they will... I think this time they're going to shift over. Okay. So they're going to shift this way. Well, that might put me in... Let's see if that would put me in your front, though. I think with two inches still. Yeah, I think I'd still be safe in your, yeah. safely in your side. So they'll shift over this way just to make them a less easy target for your champs if they're going to come in here. Uh, and then I will fire. Yeah. I'll take an auto wound. Yes, sir. And then we are with uh, seven dice, seven dice precision rerolls into yep. the flank. All right, uh, three precisions, mm -hmm. two misses. Okay, so, so three will, autos and then yeah. two, uh, two So hits. we will take the three, and then two more on four. Oh wait, uh, before you do that, I forgot to do one of their abilities. Okay. Um, I see. So, yeah, um, I'll just do Sundering because I can't say crit below because I've already rolled. Yeah. So that, uh, I'll just say Sundering then. So then it's be, uh, five. uh, on five. Yeah. yeah. So we feel two more. Okay. And uh, it's uh, uh, minus. So these. Yeah, these minus two again. Minus so nice. two. Uh, minus three because of. Um, oh wait, no. No, so mine. These um, are, are equal. They, yeah, equal side flank. And then yeah, intimidate, intimidate friends. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we fail for two. Two. So be three. Okay, three. Um, yeah, I'll leave it. I have my other fear keeps a man alive. Yep. I'm gonna play that one. Yep. So I'll heal three onto the black guard this sure. time. Sure. me. And then I'll use his order again. Yep. Spread fear. And uh, jump it over to the two right Davos. Yes. They will pass plus one, minus one. Minus one. So minus two, two. Right. So they will fail for two. Okay. Fail for two. Because right. it's then an eight. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Um, all right, you're completely done after the attack. I would like here to play Baratheon Justice. Okay. So I wanna can give them two condition tokens because yep. I've got the crown or the mm -hmm. letters. So I would like to give your archers a weekend. Yep. And I would like to give them a panic as well. Okay. Spend this one. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, start of friendly. I would like to try and use supply aid. Okay. So. Two. Three. So four back at Stennis. Mm -hmm. Um, then I would like to use not that much. I would like to use Alistair, Reno. All right. Would you like to play now? I have nothing. Okay. We'll go on the bags. Okay. We will heal an additional three on mm -hmm. Stannis. We will remove this one. Uh, you did your spread free already. And then at the end, I would like to use an Alistair token. Okay. And I would like to go... No, I will stay here. Okay. No. Back to you, sir. All right. <clears throat> and they hit on four plus, right? They hit on four plus, yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. How many, uh, how many attack dice do they have on one rank? Four? Uh, they have four, if I'm four. correct. Yeah, on, okay. on the last rank. Okay.
Yep, yeah, so there's 774. Mm -hmm. Street could get over there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate Ramsey. Yep. And I'll put him on the maneuver zone. Sure. I will influence the. Uh, yep. Dogs. The dogos. And I'll retreat. Sure. The two. All right. So they go Seven. eight. Oh, yeah, they go eight. Yeah. So I could go. Let's see, I could go over nine. to nine. Over there. Turn. Pivot. I think I could get out of your, maybe out of your line of sight. Uh, let's see. Well, after you did the retreat, I can also still pivot. Right oh yeah, you still so. pivot. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So they'll go. Yeah, we'll just go like that. And uh, this is theirs. Yep. This is theirs. Awesome. Then I can do the, the turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna try, see how it goes. Yeah. Hope okay, you know. I think that's it. Um, so, sort of, I'm gonna use Mark Target. Mm -hmm. I'd like to vulnerable these guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna activate. Activate him, Randall. Yeah. So, um, declare the charge. Three, so successful. Good. Question here now is though, if I move to here, let's say we so kill he them. He has a really narrow arc, so um, I guess I guess it goes right through that line, right? So. Yeah, yeah. I think he would. You would be inside of his his line of sight that way. Yeah. So I think no matter what, you're going to be in his line of sight. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I just have to hope that I can just kill them completely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it was uh, a it was a toss up. You know, if, if I attack him, yeah, it was kind of these guys are in a really bad situation. No matter what, I was really hoping to be able to uh, retreat them really far away. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it would yeah. have been a four or five, then you had too yeah, much. Yeah, I would probably be able to get a little yeah. bit further. Uh, uh, I can also still go here. Mm -hmm. Make it just tougher for him to go. Yeah, but you get a surge fourth after you kill them. Yeah. So you could uh, but then totally I don't get out of his line of sight. Yeah, yeah but then I'm, if I stay here, I'm almost 100% sure I can go there. Yeah, you can just hop over there. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's a risky. So do I want to be safe and just mm -hmm. go that way? But, but and if I not do, get the token. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I prefer to, to keep them alive. So okay. Because that's going to be, what is it? If he then turns. I don't know. Six inches. So it'd be like a three? Three, maybe a, yeah, maybe. Probably like a two or a three? Yeah. I think I'm getting cooked anyway, so let's go. I'm yeah. uh, just uh, because. No, I need to. I need to yeah, go you there. Should, yeah. yeah, I'd say yeah. Over, all the way over there yeah. or all the way over there. Yeah. So we're going to do this. Okay. All right. Seven dice on four up. Come on, Stennis. I want to see some love. <laughs> That's two, three at the moment. Successful rerolls. So we get five. five. And then we will use your weakened token for three auto wounds. Yep. So we will have two wounds remaining. Two wounds remaining with Sundering okay. and Vulnerable. Yep, so uh, sixes, I need to roll a bunch of sixes twice. Yes. Oh. Uh, nope, that's, that's dead unit. Dead, dead unit. I will put those back for you, sir, and right. I'll give it to you. There Thank you go. You. Uh, here's your Ramsey. Yep. We will score an additional point, so we go to the three points. And then I will search forth which tennis towards here and then turn around like here. All right, but he's out of the game, though. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, and uh, I'm going to do seeing your flaws, seeing their flaws on you. Uh, yep. So after your combat unit completes an action, yep. you get panicked and vulnerable. Basically. Panicked and vulnerable. 
Here we go. All right. All right, my NCUs are out. Um, let's see. These guys wanted to get crazy. Oh, now I know where this come once come hmm. from, uh, Randall. You yep. did it with Shay. I didn't what? You did it with, with Shay in the oh, previous uh, round when you uh, threw yeah, the additional uh, weekend out. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I, I used the Shay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used one on, on Letters here and, and then, then there, yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah. okay. So they would need like a three or four to get in there. Uh, you can see if you pivot them and then you okay. can... Uh, yep. I think, it's, I think it's a three. Or at least it should be a three. Yeah. I think so. I think that's about as close as they could get. Um, thank you. So, uh, one, two, yeah, they need a three. Yeah. Uh, we're going to just go for it. We're going to get nuts. Okay. And yep. I'll activate the Golden Company officer. Yep. And we'll see how far we can go. Yep. All right. You can go. We got it. I'm just ignoring all of these objectives completely, and uh, we're just getting nuts and burying our backside to the uh, to the champions. champions. <laughs> just baiting you with our, our backside, and yeah, so they're going to attack. And at two ranks, they have five, five attacks. Okay. On fours. Yep. With reroll? Rerolls, thankfully. Okay, so. Two three. precision, right? What? Because they've got precision these days, right? Uh, no, they just have vicious. Oh, I thought they had precision on the. Oh, those are like the Carl no. Stark ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Carl Starks, yeah. Okay, so, so three. Three. No minuses as well, right? Mm, so no just, sundering? Yeah, no anything? sundering. So yeah, no sundering. We're just on fours here then? Oh, by the way, if you... Oh, yeah, you so I think I only had... Do, do you want to remove um, it to the other side? That's fine. For yeah, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll have, then to, you go, have to go... to go to the 50 Yeah, I have there. to go all the way over here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. thanks. So, yeah, no that. worries. So, on force then. Pass. Wow, nice. I am vulnerable, I good vulnerable. Sir. Yep. Yep. You would fail for two. Right, two. So, we will take two. Then, uh, now vicious. the tricky part comes. Yep. There's the vicious uh, with the corpse pal and the weird tree. They mm -hmm. ignore each other, so they will be on an eight. Okay. They pass, pass. on an eight. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Can't change it much. Cool. Then we will do that. Um, let's see, how many did I kill? Two? Two. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll play Dreadfort Secrets. Yeah. After I complete a melee attack, if it destroyed an enemy rank, attach this card to one friendly infantry unit. Yeah. All enemies they're engaged with become panicked. Yeah. And then while attached, each time an enemy activates in short range, they become panicked. Panicked as well, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, start a friendly. Would you like to use Threaten from Justin Messi to make okay. them weakened? So. Uh, all right. Oh, um, yeah. that's an order, so you can't use it on the Golden Company office. Oh, no, true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You keep forgetting it's, it's yeah. all BN. Yeah. <laughs> Good point out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just fine then. Um, so let's activate then Davos. Okay. He's already panicked, so he can become yep. double time panicked. Yep. He's going to make a retreat action. Okay. He's going to back seven inches. Aren't they movement five? Uh, yes. So they go six. So six. Yep. Yeah. So they go to the six. All right. Like this to six. Uh, Turn a little bit like this. And that's fine with it. There we go. And then they've been activated. You can uh, pivot if you want to, good sir. Yep. Uh, let's see.
I feel like no matter what, it's a bad situation. I can either get shot in the back or I can get charged in the back. Um, Yeah, that's fine. They'll just stay like that. All right. Oh, so back to me. Let's see his line of sight. Just like that. I'll activate the archers. Dennis, can we play a little bit longer or do you want us to stop as well at 12? Yeah? If you want to do the full two hours, everybody got, you can play until quarter to one. Okay, well. And you only have 15 minutes until the next round. Okay, but well, we're already in round four after this, so I think I will ask Randall, see what he does. Let's try to aim for half past 12 and have half an hour. Yeah, cool. Yeah, of when course. Is, when is the round, when is this round over? 11 minutes? Okay. So yeah. I don't think we should go too much after that because no. you're in the tournament and I, I want you to get lunch. So Because sure. uh, sure. whenever yeah. I've, I've been in tournaments and foregone my lunch, I, I just am... I can fully I go, understand. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I don't want to do that to you. Yeah. All right. Um, cool. So... Well, I, you know, he's in the tournament. I don't want to make... I don't want to put him in a bad spot. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, sorry. So they, um, I just maneuvered yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. So they just cool. maneuvered over here. All right. Awesome. I'm going to activate Jing. Use and my girl. She's, she's just gonna go there because uh, she doesn't. You're do not anything. even gonna use my my girl. I gave it. No. Give it to you. Oh, jeez. Disrespect she, she, she her. Would, yeah. You disrespect her. Okay. Like no, that? no. 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 <laughs> we, should, we can we can do that on the other side. No. 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 It's okay. It's okay. At least put her. At least put her over that bag so okay, she, okay, she okay. can get some money or something. Okay. 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 She got the There we go. All right. All right. All right, uh, so back to me. Yeah. Sure. I just got the, the elephant left. Yep. Um, I was hoping to wait these, until these guys got in or did something so I could have the elephant, but you wisely did not uh, jump the gun with them. So I'll activate the elephant. Yeah. And... Yeah, I'll just maneuver this elephant. Yeah. I uh, I was intending to either send him down range here, mm -hmm. and then use him to finish off these uh, archers. But yep. Yeah, or I can send him over here and just kind of get in the way of the stags. So I'm just going to use him as a stag blocker, a yep. champ blocker. So <laughs> he's just going to go this way and just continue to kind of threaten the. Uh, yeah the champs a little bit so he'll go over here kind of uh yeah block the front of the archers yeah and he can't control objectives so i can't throw him on there uh, no you can only put him over there to just yeah just prevent to block off, it. Yeah. Off, yeah yeah so yeah he's just gonna do that okay uh yeah let's uh so let's go with ferris he loves some the information of letters yep so um let's we cannot target them so we let's make the elephant. Well, uh, you can target them with a zone. You just can't influence them. Oh so. yeah, that's true. Yeah. So let's make them vulnerable, please. Okay. Them. All right. So let's grab a vulnerable token. Yeah. That was true. Yeah. It was influences, orders, and tactics cards. Yep. Yeah. And let's draw two more cards. Okay. Uh, righty, mighty. Uh, no stars for you then. Yep. Uh, I'm all done. Then we will use Peter. And Peter was already there, but he's going yeah. there again. Okay. Let's make the archers a panic, please. All right. So a minus one, plus one. Yep. So they're just on their normal seven. Yes. Whoa. They passed. Do you want to want me Let's to reroll? Let's both the bolt and okay. uh, flames, man. Yep. On the panic. Okay. Okay. So, so they take two. Two. Yeah. And the panic can go here. Thank yes, you. sir. All right. Um, 
then I would still like to start of any turn use battle plan and remove harsh conditions and breathing conviction okay grab one you've milled six of your cards now <laughs> with battle plan huh hey that's yeah you know what to play the game right so yeah. <laughs> all right used to be better when you could cycle those cards with like Queensman or Kingsman, but yeah, yeah but I think, I think this is more more suitable yeah. to be honest yeah uh, all right and then we will just go here on the objective okay because as you said you block them out yeah. I can jump uh, yeah, in I mean, here you can charge them but then I can just counter charge yeah them exactly yeah and so. your um, what I mean, is you it could, still the, your things and everything yeah, etc I mean, unless you want to take them over there yeah uh, and then if you killed them uh, even if you killed them you couldn't search fourth back onto it probably no because it's four so, for yeah. each movement so I think this is better to okay. just score three points yeah guaranteed yep. score yeah so let's do that all right so three points okay. uh, I can heal from this one I can now heal up to three wounds back okay. because of the yeah, one for each one rank. And each one and each range. Yeah. And then you can get Jane back and we go into round number four. Okay. Do we want to start round number four or do we... We have got six minutes on the clock. Um, what, it's up to you, Randall. We could start. I say let's, let's start and then we'll just stop when we need to stop. Okay. If that's cool with you. Yeah. Just kill some more stuff and... Yeah. And, uh, Fine by me. I get my lady back. Yeah. She's back to you. Baelish has uh, counseled enough on the crowns, mm -hmm. so he goes away. I draw three cards. And I can make a shift with Justin, so let's see, the objective is already there. So he's going to stay there. Yeah. And you guys go back. I have a start of any turn uh, once right. you've looked at your cards. So uh, I can make one unit panic with the objective. So I would yeah. like to. Long range. Maybe. It's long range, no. right? No, yeah, so no. Yeah, so no. Nope. We're too far out. All right, so round number four. four. Let me go first. Uh, start of any round, I would like to play my second tactical approach on them. Yeah. And start of any turn. I don't have a start of any turn. Okay. So feel yep. free to do. Okay. I'm going to put harsh punishments on my black guard. Yeah. So they become panicked. Yep. And while it's attached, they use their highest um, attack die roll yep. value and they get sundering. But if they fail a panic test, they suffer plus one wound. So okay. I'm kind of setting them up to maybe die from panic, but they'll at least get sundering and hit hard until they die. Gotcha. Uh, cool, cool. In that case, sorry. I will... Sorry, wait. Uh, yeah. yeah, melee attacks. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you became panicked, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah you had yeah, it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. And then that's still on there. That's still on there, okay. yeah. All right. Uh, Coolio, I would like to use Alistair. I have something for him. Uh, yeah. if, when he activates, if you yeah. claim his own, I'll make you panic and make a unit panic and vulnerable. Yeah, sure. Whisper threats. He, he's still going to go on the swords. Yep. And I would like to try and see if I can get you in the side with the archers now. Okay. So this is two. I don't think. Uh, I think most of you are still in the front. Yeah. 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 Still, we will. We will. We will scuffle this way. Okay. Um. I'll. I'll vulnerable. Um. Yeah, I'll make them vulnerable, and yep. I'll make the champs panicked. Panicked for the champs. Cool. So we have panicked over here, sir. Thank you. All right. And we're going to do seven shots then. Okay. At the black guard. Mm -hmm. I am weakened. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm going to leave it. You gonna leave it? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. All right. So uh, watch, watch me fail both of these. You just said it now. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Kay. All right. Oh, uh, I am, I am uh, vulnerable. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Do so. Yeah. I, uh, I suffer yeah. extra wounds now. Yeah. So, yeah. Nope. All still right, fine. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
and at the end he will scuffle today with one of his tokens. Okay. What does he want? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, buy me. To you, good sir. All right. I will take Jane Poole. Yep. Activate her, and I will put her on the swords. Yep. Not because I need her, but because I don't want you to take her or take the <laughs> take the yep. swords. And I'll influence uh, this unit to get plus yep. two morale. Yep. Fully and that's it. Okay. Uh, nice. Um, I would like to activate Peter. Okay. Nothing for me. Okay. I would like to put Peter on the crowns. I'm gonna spend this last one. Okay. And we're gonna do letters. Mm -hmm. Would like to make them weaken them. Okay. So, and draw two cards. Okay. To you, good sir. Okay. I will activate Ramsey. Sure. And I will uh, I'll activate I'll activate Shay. Yep, sure. And she will take the maneuver zone. Yep. And then I'll use one token to uh, heal a wound. So I'm just going to heal a wound on the black guard. And then I'm going to move my elephant. Yep. So elephant is going to maneuver. So there, I think. It's probably okay. a two. Probably a two or a three, yeah. Okay. Nice. Would like to activate Varus? Okay. Going on the letters? Mm -hmm. Um. Let's make him just making elephant weekend. Yeah, and okay. two more cards. Okay. You're good? Yeah, okay. I'm good. Uh, I'm just going to go in with the elephant. We're just going to go. Uh, yep. Time is of the essence. I don't have time to think about what's the best decision. And I have an elephant on the table. He needs to stomp something. <laughs> True. So he's going to charge. I think I need like a two or three. All right, That's he's definitely That's enough. Six. Yep. He'll go in here. And uh, yeah, he'll just go halfway this way. Yeah. I am weakened, however. Yeah. So he has, um, I think it's six. If I'm correct, it's also six and I'm... Six and plus one for each rank of yours? Yep. Is it plus one hit or plus one die? Uh, Let's see. I think it's a plus one die if I'm correct. Okay. Uh, so he is... Or is it four? Four dies. Four dies. And he gets, when charging, plus one attack die for each of the defense remaining ranks. So you will okay. be on six. Okay. So two, four, six. Okay. Six on threes. I am weakened. Yep. So first you reroll. Yep. Rerolls. Okay. okay. And a successful can be reroll, please. Yep. yep. Okay. okay. So, so four, four, four will go automatically. One. And, and then two. it's a vicious panic test, uh, but the tree so uh, minus one. Minus one. So they will be on the seven. Yep. 
so I'll, they will uh, pass. Yep, I'll roll. Have you re-roll those two there? Those two there, yeah, with a panic token. So he would okay. fail for one more, one more so okay. he will get... What is it? Five wounds in. Alright. Alrighty. Okay. Um, let's play Final Strike here. Okay. Uh, so five hits back with minus one because I've got the crowns. Okay. Five on minus one, so uh, fours. And successful can um, be rerun. Yes. Okay, so four, you take four wounds. Yep. I'll, uh, I will have them here. Yeah, four. Okay, four. Okay. Awesome. Um, so then it's my activation. Let's do the champs right away. Yep. So I become vulnerable. Yeah. And let's go like this. Uh, you become vulnerable as well because of their cards. Mm -hmm. And I would like to play Sustain Assault here okay. to use the highest attack dice mm -hmm. and reroll because we're engaged or yep. uh, in the in the fight. Yep. So we're six dice hitting on threes with reroll now. So it's currently five, rerolling one. Uh, right. I am weakened, good sir. Yep. Yep. Sustain Assault will be gone. We'll roll six more. So this will be two, four, five, six, and then do I want to spend because he has a three plus save or four plus save? Uh, three plus save. Three yeah. plus save. So, and he has four wounds. Yeah, I would say I would just spend it, and then yeah, all you need to get go. is one. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna spend your vulnerable token for tactical approach. Okay. This is a one. Okay. So he goes so, from five. Five. And then it's six more saves on your regular save. Six on minus one? Uh, no, or because I don't have no. Okay. Just so regular six on three. Threes. Yeah. Uh, he saves all. He saves yeah. all of them. All right. All right. Okay. Um, if you want to call it there, I'm I'm good since we're out of time, and I, I yeah. want you to be able to do what you need to do. So that's uh, fine, sure. Because these guys aren't going to do anything. Yeah. These guys are just going to probably yolo into something else again and not do too much. Yeah. They'll probably sit there. They'll probably sit there. You'll probably shoot me one more time. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good to call it if you yeah. are. All right, then good game, you're on. Randall, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, that, was was a, lovely. that was a good, un unexpected game. Yeah. So, yeah, it was fun. It was good. Yeah. All yeah. right. So, Jeroen. Yes. Here we are. Here we are, yes. Somehow we ended up on the same side of the, of the world. And, yeah. And uh, we, we knew we were going to both be at this tournament. But yes. But... I wasn't planning to really play in the tournament. I was going to mostly kind of mingle and play a side game and everything. But mm -hmm. somehow on the first day of the tournament, your opponent didn't show up. And no. I jumped in and was yeah. your opponent. So we got we got a game in together. Yep. Uh, I, I know both of us kind of had hoped that something like that would happen. Exactly. But there didn't yeah, yeah, seem yeah. to be an opportunity. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just I was thrilled that we had that opportunity and that we got mm -hmm. to make a video out of it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Evan. Just yeah. into the you just jumped oh, into the video. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ah, it's okay. It's a, <laughs> no, no, I'm going to leave it in. I'm yeah. leaving it in. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, so it was great. It, yeah. it was absolutely a, a, yeah, a true blast, you know. I mm -hmm. think uh, I said it with you uh, off camera as well. Like, I really want to have that game with you when mm -hmm. we went on the road towards here. Like, if Randall is playing, I will I definitely want to play against him, you know. Mm -hmm. You only get one opportunity for that. Yeah. And then, yeah, all stars aligned. Yeah. It happened. Here we are. We do it yeah. in an afterthought. That's awesome. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we're all one community. Uh, for sure. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, I, had a, I had a great time. And congratulations on making second place in the tournament. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you so uh, much, sir. Yeah, yeah. It was truly a blast. All my games, opponents, and everything mm -hmm. was so lovely as mm -hmm. well. I think especially seeing on the tournament scene, well, um, I think London GT also showcased mm -hmm. that quite well. But I yeah, there was something in the air yeah. this weekend, and I think yeah. it's re it was really enjoyable to watch and be part of it, mm -hmm. seeing all the community members coming towards you, yep. congratulating you, but also being thankful of what mm -hmm. you do. I think mm -hmm. you had yeah, something similar, yeah, similar as well, like, yeah. you know, we're helping people love this game right. up until the, the yeah. very, very end. So, yep. uh, and uh, yeah, guys, if I can just say, this man is making amazing content, so please, if you can, if, if you can, if 
if you can help him out with a like, comment, or anything, mm. please do so. You know, he, he deserves all the, the love yeah. you can give, so uh, yeah, you. please and do so. Likewise to Rotterdam White Scars, I'm sure almost everyone watching this video has already subscribed to your channel, and uh, if they haven't, they should, and yeah. join your Patreon. Yeah. And uh, Hits and Crits, who organize yeah. this tournament, uh, if you're not subscribed to them, please do so and uh, support them however you can also. So, Definitely. Uh, anyway. Thank you again, great. Randall. It was great, Jeroen. And uh, go, we have the trucks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesus, mate. <laughs> good, that's good. You're good. good exit. Yeah, well done, Raymond. Well. well done. <laughs> All right, so let's quickly run through what happened in this game round by round, and then I'll show you all what I think the ideal Bolton Elephant list looks like, and then we'll close out the video with my thoughts on the Hamburg trip and the tournament. All right, so looking at the first couple of rounds of the game, uh, round one pretty much goes as you would expect with uh, Jeroen moving his guys up, Justin Massey kind of getting in position to uh, capture objectives on that on that flank. I'm uh, moving up my center with the black guard and uh, the archers behind them. I'm kind of thinking right now that maybe I should have put the deployed the archers to the left of the black guard um, so they could kind of move up with them because right now the archers are going to be too far away to really get any shots in until uh, until those black guard move up quite a ways and until Jeroen's guys move down. So uh, the light bringers are going to be able to shoot a lot quicker probably than my uh, my dreadfort archers will. And then my elephant's kind of moving up as slowly as you'd expect. Uh, the Bolton Bastard girls are sitting on that objective, but we don't score until next round, so I have to kind of consider whether to sit there or uh, to move up to try to attack uh, Jeroen. And round two goes on. My black guard take a lot of fire from uh, the light bringers failing panic tests and um, going down to one rank. The Bolton Bastard girls move up. I uh, I think I didn't really expect Jeroen to uh, charge them with the halberd halberdiers. I guess I was expecting him to kind of focus on the black guard. Uh, but he wisely engaged them before they could shoot and charge him in the, in the subsequent round. So the uh, Bolton Bastard girls are all kind of locked up in melee right now. And uh, Jeroen scores two because he gets his... Uh, champions of the stag over there on that point and the wardens on on that point there i uh left the point near me so i don't get i didn't get that one and i didn't move up far enough with the black guard to get the center point so i'm already at a 2-0 deficit and i think round three is where things really started to unravel for me so at the top of round three after i took first player and shot stannis's halberd ears i really should have expended the panic token to attempt to get a three on the d3 um, Jeroen rolled a two, which did three damage with, uh, Intimidating Presence, so it took him down to just one wound remaining on Stannis, and if I had used the Panic Token and he had ha just happened to get a three, uh, it would have killed the unit and really opened up that flank for the rest of my units to, to kind of slam into the Lightbringers, and I think it would have shifted the balance of the game, uh, back a little bit more in my favor. Um, I, except, of course, at that point I would definitely be kind of aiming more for like a tabling um, because I would have abandoned the two objectives on my side. Uh, Jeroen would have still had the two on his side. So it, I still would have been in a, in a bad position, but it would have been uh, a little closer and less of a runaway, I think. Also in round three, I, I shouldn't have retreated with the dogs. I shouldn't have retreated out of combat with uh, the halberdiers. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that the halberdiers could just pivot back into the dog's line of sight um, or into, into line of sight of the dogs. The uh, the dog should have probably just stood there and fought the halberdiers. Retreating with them just opened up an opportunity for Stannis to recharge them, kill them, and then surge forth out of line of sight of the elephant. This allowed Jeroen to scoot onto one of the objectives for the rest of the game, forcing me to decide whether to pivot part of my army, likely the elephant, to attack Stannis, or just ignore him for the rest of the game and try to go kill other units. No matter what, though, I was in a bad spot with three of his units currently sitting on objectives on both sides of the battlefield, and my forces depleted and surrounded in the center with uh, really no real clear direction of where they can go to make an impact at this point. 
Then in round four, we decided to call the game once the uh, once the, the tournament round ran out of time, or maybe a little bit after it ran out of time. I uh, you know I, I still just kind of kind of wandered around there in the in the center. Jeroen just uh, kind of held his place for the most part, and uh, kind of just ended the game after after charging it with the elephant elephant. So, uh, the elephant was able to draw, draw a little bit of blood in this game, uh, but didn't really make much of a, um, much of an impact. And the game ended eight to zero. So, um, yeah, I really, I guess my strategy once the game was underway was just to try to attack as much stuff as possible and try to kill things. Um, Jeroen's army though was definitely built to last and, uh, endure. So unless I was really able to get off a a really effective alpha strike. Um, it was going to be really hard to, to put his units down. The second list I brought to the tournament was a Steel Shanks Walton elephant list. I played that list on day two of the tournament. If one were to want to play a Bolton elephant list, Steel Shanks is definitely the best commander for the job, in my opinion. So let's take a quick look at what I would consider to be the ideal Steel Shanks elephant list. So on the combat side, uh, the combat unit side, the only real difference between this list and the Roost list is the position of the commander and Golden Company officer. With this setup, Steel Shanks uh, Iron Resolve makes the Black Guard much tankier and resilient to panic damage. And as you could, as you saw in our game uh, that we just had, the Black Guard took a bunch of panic wounds that may have been mitigated somewhat by Iron Resolve. The Golden Company officer will help protect the Bolton Bastard Girls from abilities and tactics cards that would affect their offensive output while also giving them a semi-reliable source of self-healing with Dauntless. And since the Bolton Bastard girls are on a 5-up morale, uh, they can pretty reliably expect to pass panic tests that aren't modified by uh, negative modifiers. Steel Shank's tactics cards really support the Elephant. Price of Fear can help move the Elephant forward or maneuver it for a flank charge. Rush of Aggression turns the Elephant into an accurate missile that can potentially one-shot an enemy if lucky. And taunt can be used to draw attention away from the elephant, or conversely, taunt an enemy into attacking the elephant and not one of your squishier units. On the NCU side, the only difference here is Walda. Walda is great in this list, though. Her ability to hand out a weakened token and provide extra healing are very useful for helping to keep an elephant alive. Her other ability to pull a commander's tactics card from the deck or discard is great for this list as well. She allows you to, on demand, pull a rush of aggression out of your deck or discard, which lets your elephant get a guaranteed 12 inch charge and get crit blow, potentially blowing up the unit it's charging. And speaking of blowing up, Ramsey NCU is great to use on the elephant since you're usually going to be reliably be killing one rank from any unit you attack, which will heal the elephant for two wounds. Finally, Jane NCU can help to protect the elephant from a top of round attack by stealing first player or can secure a top of round kill for yourself instead. Additionally, if she influences the elephant, you're not really worried about extending the elephant beyond the range of the Golden Company officer anymore, since it should reliably pass a 4-up morale test. So those are some thoughts for anybody looking to play a potentially superior version of the Bolton Elephant List. If you've tried a Bolton Elephant List before, let me know in the comments how it worked for you. And if you try this list or one similar to it, please let me know how it worked also. Now, a few words about my trip to Germany and about the experience of playing in the tournament. The day I arrived, Chris from Hits and Crits was my host and showed me around his city of Hamburg. It was a pretty wet and cold day, and I was woefully underdressed for the weather, so Chris kindly lent me a big puffy coat to wear for our sightseeing tour around downtown. I love seeing old buildings and monuments, so I had a great time looking at even the most mundane of old buildings. Some buildings that Hamburg locals wouldn't consider to be very old are easily decades if not centuries older than anything in the city I live in. Nearby the plaza that contains the city's Rathaus, or City Hall, there stands this obelisk in commemoration to the city's fallen during World War I. It reads, 40,000 Sonne der Stadt ließen ihr Leben für euch, which translates roughly to, 40,000 sons of the city gave their lives for you. I found this to be a sobering and poignant monument in the midst of this city that has one foot planted firmly in its past and another striding confidently forward into the future. 40,000 lives may not sound like much, but around the time of World War I, Hamburg had a population of approximately 1 million. 
Of those, we can assume roughly half or 500,000 were men. So of that half a million men, 8% died in World War I. And let's assume further that only half of that 500,000 were fit or of fighting age, which is probably a conservative assumption. Then that's 16% of the young male population that was killed in the war, which doesn't factor in those that came home physically or emotionally scarred for life. When you think about one in six of the young men you know being killed in a four-year span of time, it really puts that 40,000 number into starker perspective. Forgive the history lesson, but it felt appropriate to mention since not far away, we 58 players would be pushing around our little plastic soldiers on fictitious battlefields completely safe from harm. If the local World War I loss ratio was applied to our tournament, that's nine players out of the 58 who would have been killed in the war. It's worth pondering over and feeling gratitude for the peace that most of us take for granted. Peace that was bought so dearly. The tournament itself was expertly organized by the Hits and Crits guys, for whom this was their first experience organizing a tournament of this scale. For anyone who hasn't organized a tournament before from the ground up, there's a ridiculous amount of preparation and organization that is needed to make it function. This tournament went off without any noticeable hitches, and everyone seemed to have a great time. What I'll remember more than the venue, the games, and even the city are the people. It was so great to meet so many awesome song players from the Hamburg and greater German community, not to mention a handful of wild Dutchmen. Everyone I met was so welcoming and kind. I wanted to say a big thank you to all of my opponents in the tournament. I know they didn't come to the tournament expecting to have to speak a foreign language during one of their games at this local tournament, so I appreciate how gracious they were to speak English to me during our games. I tried to fumble through a bit of German with some of them, but they were kind enough not to expect me to keep it up. There are too many people to thank individually, so I'll just say uh, thanks to each and every person who chatted with me about themselves and their love of the game over the weekend. Meeting Jeroen, Raymond, Sean, and the other guys from Rotterdam was a real pleasure. Last but certainly not least, I want to express my gratitude to the Hits and Crits team. Chris, Dennis, and Till put on an amazing tournament. It was also great to meet Florian and Dominic from the extended Hits and Crits family. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for Hits and Crits and the Hamburg song community as a whole. Well, that just about does it for this video. I hope you'll forgive the extra time spent on discussion and recounting the events of the weekend, but if you've made it to this point of the video, you certainly didn't take issue with the runtime. If you enjoyed this video and haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, also consider subscribing to Hits and Crits and the Rotterdam White Scars and supporting them on Patreon if you're a fan of their work. Until next time, this is Randall, signing off.